Hi, this is Matt Filio, and welcome to another episode of a 30-minute acrylic portrait. Lord, got my hand. Lord, got my heart. Help me to paint a beautiful picture. Help me to start. Um, in this series, we do a portrait in about a half an hour, and it's real time. In fact, I have a timer here in the back to keep me on track. So when it hits 30 minutes, I'll put my hands in the air, and whatever is done on this canvas is what we have for a painting. And for today's painting, we'll be doing a portrait of a man named Muhammad. This image here um, was supplied graciously by Living Waters Ministry. Living Waters Ministry um, basically serves to educate Christians on how to evangelize uh, lost people, how to evangelize their friends and neighbors, share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. In fact, I was looking for images to paint from, and I noticed that he puts up about two YouTube videos a day, and they're high-res, high-definition images, so it just makes for a fantastic painting. This particular image here of a young man named Muhammad, I was drawn to that um, by the lighting and contrast. I really love the kind of chiaroscuro look of the light on the left-hand side, uh, striking you know, his face in the upper left corner, creating some really distinct shadows uh, that'll make it fun to paint. So this is my usual palette here. I've got uh, raw umber dark, and burnt sienna, raw sienna, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, lizard and crimson, organic red orange, um, Indian yellow. We do also have a uh, azure yellow medium and then titanium white. And I also like to use matte medium as well. So I just put some of that right on the palette and that helps to make the paint a little more fluid. In this style though, we're gonna be painting a little more opaque, not with the usual glazing technique. Um, so I'll be using the, the matte medium just to extend the paint, not so much to thin it out and make it translucent. Um, and then lastly, uh, the brushes I'll be using, I have an assortment. I have a, a one inch flat, half inch flat, and some rounds and flats of various sizes. Nothing too fancy, just uh, general brushes that you can find uh, pretty much any art store that you shop at. And before I begin, I would like to ask a quick blessing here, which is my habit before I paint. Um, just inviting Jesus, the master artist, to help me. He created the world, so he can definitely help me to create a good painting here, and he can help you as well. So I'm just gonna ask a blessing here. Uh, Father, I, I thank you that you've given me a talent. You've given so many people watching this video a talent, uh, so many creative people all over the world. And I just invite you here, Lord, I ask that you would help me uh, to paint this picture well, uh, to capture this likeness, this personality of this young man named Muhammad as quickly as I can within 30 minutes. I do ask a blessing on him, Lord, that you would draw him to know you as Lord and Savior and bless his life. And uh, Lord, I pray for all the students that are watching this, that you would bless them in their painting and draw them uh, to know you as Lord and Savior or just to be closer to you. But I ask you bless them in all areas of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, and we will get started. And now I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes and we will begin. And that'll keep me on track. And when that timer bell dings, then I will be finished with the painting. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to do to begin is just establish the composition. And with that, I'm gonna take a little bit of black, ivory black and ultramarine blue, and then some titanium white. And I just wanna make something that's a little bit darker than the background. And we'll work with that. We're just going to block it in here very simply. Just 
just want to establish the composition. So we're going to keep it pretty loose. And just kind of getting the outlines and the overall placement of his head and his uh, shoulders and everything. And we're going to have his shoulders starting about here. His neck, trying to get the width of his neck about where it should be. Kind of do that V part of his neck there on his shirt. All right, and then we're going to quickly block in the hair. Just the outer dimensions of what the hair might look like. have his ear roughly right here and we're gonna also establish just the overall form of his features get that kind of blocked in loosely all right and that's all there is to that let's keep it pretty simple in the beginning part now let's take a flat edge brush and let's actually block in the form of his hair. We'll take ivory black, raw or dark, just a bit of titanium white so it covers better. It makes it a little more opaque. And we'll just block in his hair really quickly. Just getting the overall form and see because I have this sketch pretty light it still gives me some freedom to adjust a couple of things all right so i'm just trying to push this paint into the grooves of the canvas i'm using a this is an eight by ten canvas board and um, you don't really have to push on it like you do with a stretch canvas where there's some give to it, but still, because there is that texture, um, you still have to push it in quite a bit. And that's what we're trying to do here. All right, now, with that, let's add a little bit of raw or dark and a bit of titanium white, just to lighten that up a little bit. And we'll start establishing the color for the shadow and then also the position for it where it should occupy the space on his face. And we'll just begin to establish some of the shadows for his nose, and then his mouth. And all these things can be adjusted to some degree. And also where his chin might go. And we have this shadow coming from his uh, chin onto his neck. We want this to go down a little ways. We might want to bring this chin down just a little bit more. Yeah, probably should come down just a little bit more. So I'm going to adjust that shadow. Just trying to keep the overall proportions. We have something like, oh, maybe two thirds to one third. We're talking about this shadow against the highlighted area of his chest. And so keeping that in mind, I'm gonna bring his jawline down just a little bit. We're going to see if we can just adjust it a little bit there. And then let's also put in this shadow too for his eye. I think that can be just a little lower than what I had it initially. I'm just turning the brush so I can get just that side angle to get some of these sharper features of his nose. We'll have a shadow coming from his hair as well. And then we can say maybe we have a little bit of his hair just poking up out of his ears not out of his ears, but behind his ears in the back. 
All right. Now let's let's do this. Just dry off the brush really good. I'm going to get my rag really quick so I can wipe that off a little bit better. Always helps to have a good rag to dry off your brush when you rinse it. Okay. And now let's grab some titanium white. Titanium white and we're going to start blocking in the color for his shirt really quick. We'll give that a chance to dry and that'll make it easier to come in with the other color that we need. Let's block this in really quickly. Just to establish that color of his shirt. I'll tell you what, let's grab a little larger brush for that. Let's grab this one inch flat just to cover the area a little bit faster. We'll just cut up around the edge, smooth out the strokes. And I'll tell you what, let's, let's leave a little room for that shadow right there. There's a shadow coming from his, his head onto his shirt. So we do want to leave room for that. Maybe bring this up just a bit higher. All right, now we're going to take this flat edge brush and we're going to Build a little shadow color. Take some ultramarine blue titanium white. It's going to be a pretty deep color. Just a little bit of raw or dark so it's not too intense. And we're just going to darken the shadow right here as we head into the shirt area. Be a little darker than the background. All right, something just like that. There we go. Now, let's put in the mid tone on his face. That would be the flesh tone on this side, so we don't have a blue man. That would be kind of strange. He's definitely not a Smurf. <laughs> we need to give him some flesh tone. So let's take some titanium white and raw sienna. He has kind of a more Mediterranean look, so we want to give him that tone. A little bit of burnt sienna as well. And we'll mix the two together. Kind of check it against the picture. Could get just a little more to the reddish side, so we'll add burnt sienna. That's kind of a more of a reddish brown than the raw sienna, which is more golden. And we'll just add this right to the on top, it's going to look strange for a little bit because we have that blue on the background and that really, uh, it's a complementary color to this color. So it really is going to look strange until we get that all filled in. All right, now I'm going to put this color in for his ear and I have that little area left for his sideburn. Just want to block this in as quickly as we can. And we're, we have to kind of scrub it into the texture of the canvas. Turn the brush the other way, bring the color down, and then brush strokes going vertically. So you can alternate them to really smooth it out. We're going to bring this brush stroke down at an angle, cut up along the edge. And we're going to define the edge of his shoulder and neck a little bit more. All right, now let's actually bring this up along the edge of his shirt just a bit more using a very firm stroke and just see going very smoothly and then some short choppy strokes to break up the edge a little bit and smooth it out.
Hey, real quick, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button. Helps it to be seen by more people, and I really appreciate that. And then subscribe for more videos like this and share it with your friends. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll go back to the 30-minute acrylic portrait. Now let's add a tone that bridges the shadow tone to the mid-tone. So we're going to take raw or dark, and we're going to mix it into this mid-tone. Add a little bit of burnt sienna just to warm that up. It looks really nice when you add that warmer color. And we're going to start bridging the two together a little bit. Up here we can bridge that together. I'll maybe cool it down just a bit. Just a bit. There we go. Okay. And we're going to cut up along the edge of the nose, kind of define that just a bit more. Get these strong shadows coming across on his lips. Now let's define the bottom of that lip just a bit more. We'll do that with this darker color. And then let's have kind of a Let's have a tone that we can use for his five o'clock shadow. Add a little bit of titanium white to this mix, kind of a muddy gray. And we're just gonna block that in and, and have a five o'clock shadow look. And we'll bring that up just along the jawline to find the bottom of his jawline. And we'll bring that up around the edge of his mouth. We'll have a little bit of it coming across on the top of his mustache area. Let's see if we can get that a little bit lighter. All right. Now let's get a laugh line in there. It's called the nasolabial fold. And we're going to use a little warmer color for that. And that's what comes down from the nose going to the mouth when somebody's smiling. And I think if you look in that original video uh, from Ray Comfort, uh, it's called, you know, he made this muzzle man smile or something like that. And uh, Ray has a way of being witty with people and uh, very cordial to them. So they usually don't get upset with him even when he shares his faith, which is pretty amazing. All right, so we're gonna just gently suggest this nasolabial fold in there and trying to get that to meet up to the nose just in the right spot. Let's kind of go down like that and get the shape of the nose in a little more. Now let's take a lighter color and start defining the edge of the eye. I need something a little darker than that. So we're gonna suggest just the start of his eye. We're gonna use a darker color against that. So take some ivory black and we're gonna go back in on top of it. We're gonna go with some more ivory black. We just want to define the bottom part of the eye and then the eyelid. And then the lower part, the lower shape of his eyelid and shadow. Yep, get a little more paint on that brush, just get it to a point. Really get that shadow nice and defined on this edge here. It can be a little softer on the left side, but on this side it should be a little sharper because that's where the cast shadow is actually preventing the light from hitting that area. Now we're gonna add a shadow underneath his lip. All right, so we're gonna darken that. We're just gonna darken this whole shadow, in fact. Let's do that, just make it a little more intense. Make it cover just a little bit better. It's nice to spray your palette about every 15 minutes when you work, just to keep those paints from drying out. It'll save you a little paint in the long run, and that's a good thing. 
because we artists need all the paint we can get and we always need to save money on supplies. All right, now let's define the edge of his face a little bit more. And let's bring down this lip just a bit more as well. We're gonna just kind of add to that, pull down the bottom portion a bit more Going to make kind of an indentation there where, where he's smiling. And we're going to add a second level of shading here to this um, five o'clock shadow. I'm just mixing these colors together. And get this shadow a little bit darker here. We're just going over it again, adding another layer. Let's add a transitional value from the neck shadow going into the mid-tone. All right, and this is kind of a lighter color. You can see it, it's a mixture of raw sienna, burnt sienna, raw umber dark, maybe a little bit of ultramarine blue. And we're just gonna lighten that up. Now let's add a little bit of titanium white and there is some titanium white in this whole mixture. We're just going to bring that across and again blend these two together. And we can kind of fan it out just a bit. We're going to get a little more of a transition right there. Strengthen this shadow a little bit more and this shadow as well. All right, now it's an interesting little divot going right here. If you can see that in the reference photo, that's showing his clavicle, I believe it's called, his collarbone. And we want to suggest that. So we're just going to take a slightly darker version of this color and just pop that in right here. And we're going to grab a lighter color without, without rinsing the brush. And we're just going to go over that slightly right here. Okay, just to blend that out a little bit. See if we can meet it up with that other uh, transitional shadow that we created above. And I think that would really be a nice look if we can get those two to meet together. And then there's a little bit of a shadow right here as well. See if we can get that suggested. Now this five o'clock shadow can kind of spread across to his neck a little bit because it looks like that's what he's got going on. Just suggest that. You don't have to paint every individual hair, especially in a fast portrait like this. All you need to do is just suggest it. Now let's add the sideburn going over this blue that I have. We'll just paint over that, get that sideburn in there. Um, we're going to suggest his ear canal, kind of a dirty brown color. And we'll just pop that in right there. Just suggest that in. We, in a painting this fast, you're not going to be able to get all the detail that you'd like to get in a more complete painting. Now, I would like to get a little bit of a transitional tone on his lips here. So get that right underneath. And then let's see if we can get that more pinkish color of his lips. Titanium white, naphthal red, maybe just a touch of Indian yellow, raw sienna so it's not too bright. And we're just going to add that right on top here and see if we can define his lip a little bit more. And then let's get a transitional value on the lips. We're going to take Alizarin Crimson and add that to the mix with a little more raw sienna. Show you what I'm mixing here. 
and just go across and then take some romber dark so we can kind of fade that into the dark shadows a little bit. Add a little bit of that coloring underneath. Just on the underside of his lip, a little bit of that color just to suggest it. Just suggest it. And we'll add some, take some straight black and really darken this area by the nasolabial fold where he's smiling. Just to show that he is a friendly guy and he's uh, having a great time out there. All right. And we're going to just add a little shadow, transitional shadow there by his lip. And I want to just cut in on the bottom edge and shape that lip a little bit more. All right. Now, Let's add some highlights to his face. We've got that mid-tone there, but it's, it's lacking something. So let's add a little bit of a highlight there. Put some fresh matte medium on the palette so I can get that paint nice and fluid. And we'll take some titanium white, a little bit of raw sienna. Titanium white, raw sienna, a little bit of Indian yellow. Just warm it up when you're going to the lighter values in the face, it's so important to warm them up. Otherwise your paint looks a little bit chalky, especially in sunlight. You want to warm it up a little bit more than what you think. Now we're going to add these highlights here, just in a few different spots. Let's add just a touch, just a touch of organic red orange. There we go. We'll add that right on top of his face here. Add a highlight right over his nose. There we go. A little bit of a highlight right there, just adding some shape and form to it. And then across the cheek, there should be a nice highlight, a prominent highlight right here. All right, now let's blend this in. Let's get a little darker version of this. Take some raw sienna and burnt sienna. And let's see if we can blend this out into the rest of the flesh tone. All right, so we're just gonna blend by adding this transitional value. You can see it, the lighter value and then the darker value. And we're just gonna blend the two together. That's, that's that easy. Just blend the two together. So when you're painting, especially when you have outdoor lighting like this, you want to think of your painting as different zones. You have your darkest shadow, your mid-tone, and then your highlights. And beyond that, you can add more nuances if you have time, but just doing this much will give you something that'll look uh, at least somewhat real. You know, it's a little, little impressionistic when you do it in 30 minutes, but you know, it's not bad. 30 minutes and you can do this too. All right, let's add a little bit of a highlight. Yep, if you pray, God will definitely help you. He definitely listens to people who pray, especially when you're praying in Jesus name. That's very important. That is Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He said, no man comes to the Father except through me. So if you want to have a direct access to, to God, you definitely want to go through the Son, go through Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight on his neck. It's going to be somewhat darker. Okay, so I added a little bit of burnt sienna to that. But we want to have a little bit of a highlight on his neck, not as bright as the face. You can see the value in his face is a lot lighter but we do want to have a bit of a highlight there. We're down to about five minutes left in this, so I'm trying to budget my time as well as I can. And you know, if nothing else, that doing exercises like this might help you to get a little faster in your painting, a little more bold and uh, 
you know, recognize that uh, our time on this earth is short. Make it count. Make it count. And you won't have any regrets on Judgment Day. You know, especially, especially if you know Jesus, you'll have no regrets. Um, now, let me add a little bit of a transitional value here, and I got just a bit of a highlight on his shirt there. But okay, I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight. To his chin just a little bit adding a bit of white to this five o'clock shadow mixture and we're just going to pop it in right there okay getting real close to time here but i'm liking how this is turning out and uh this is something you can do as well you know when you're in your studio and you may be thinking of things to paint you don't know what to paint just grab some pictures and, and do something fast. You know, just enjoy the process. See what happens. Play around with things. You know, if you just, um, you know, give yourself a constraint of 30 minutes, you're, you can be amazed at what you can accomplish in that time. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight just under his nose. A little bit more of that 5 o'clock shadow. And maybe I'll just define a little bit more of the areas around his head. With the time I have left, I have just a few minutes left. And we're just going to define these areas. We're kind of erasing over what we did in a sense. Get that a little bit darker. And in acrylic, it does dry a little darker, too, so it's something to keep in mind. Yeah, just blend that out with your finger, no big deal. <laughs> just have fun with it. Add a little bit of that same coloring down here below, just to define the edge of his, edges of his hair a little bit more. Here we go. And maybe we'll just add a bit of a highlight down here as well, just to define the bottom edge of his shirt a bit more. All right. And lastly, I might just want to strengthen this shadow right here under his nose, just strengthen that shadow showing his nostril. Maybe add just a suggestion, just a suggestion of his eye there. And then lastly, I just want to fix this little bit of paint I got on the outside here. Just, just like that. It's very easy to fix mistakes in acrylic. That's why I love it. All right. Pretty soon, I think we'll have a finished painting in just a moment here. Yep. Well, let's sign this one and call it done. And we'll just call this a finished painting. And that's time. And so here's the finished painting. And again, with the 30 minute acrylic portrait exercise, uh, this is something you can do just to speed up your technique a little bit, um, create a study for a future painting, or you could decide even to take your 30 minute portrait and add on to it, keep adding layers, uh, refining the details, adding more nuances, a lot of different things you can do, but by challenging yourself to do something within 30 minutes, um, it really helps you to get more efficient in your painting process. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. 
And then if you go over to realisticacrylic.com, uh, that's for my uh, website, Realistic Acrylic Portrait School. I have dozens of tutorials that'll show you how to paint a portrait you can be proud of. Um, not just quick 30 minute uh, exercises like this, but also tutorials on the glazing technique uh, where we do a lot more advanced blending and shading and we really take our time and dive in deep on the portrait painting process. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. God bless and I look forward to seeing you again. Lord, got my hand. Lord, got my heart. Help me to paint a beautiful picture. Help me to start.